Hello everyone and welcome to this video training. Today we are going to be taking a look at degree works and specifically how to make an academic plan in degree works. Now this is mostly going to be for those students who are doing a satisfactory academic progress appeal or SAP appeal because you are going to have to attach one of these to your appeal. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So as you can see, we are on our home screen for your MyNSCC account, and we need to get to degree work. So we are going to go to My Self Service. It's going to open up an end screen, and it might ask you to log in again. Um, student, and then right here it says degree work. So we're just going to click on that, and we're going to get a new tab, and it's going to load up and look like this. Now there's a lot of information on this front screen. So here you have your student ID number, your name, what your degree is. Um, your level and your classification, your major, uh, and the program. And as you can see, for this student, Sally, their program is Computer Information Technology. And they have a concentration in Data Analytics. Um, their campus is the main campus, and they don't have any holds. And their advise, advisor is Valencia Darnell. So you can find this information on your own um, degree works page. So from here, you can see the degree progress. The student is 6% of the way through their degree, and they don't have a GPA yet. And here we have all the requirements that are needed for the degree. So you can see that they are um, 15 minimum credits at National State, a minimum GPA of 2.0, learning support, the different categories they need. But the further down you scroll, it expands on those categories, like learning support. And this one's important because if you have this block, um, which of these little dots you need to satisfy depends on which math class you need to take for your course. So it says here, if your degree program requires a high-level math or natural science course, you may need to complete Math 1000 to meet core prerequisites. And then here are prerequisite courses for math and science, which we don't have. And then we have our gen ed requirements, communication requirements, humanities and fine arts, social behaviors, math. As you can see here, we just need math 1010 or these other maths. So because we know it's math 1010, when we go up here, we know that we need to take math 0825 along with it as well. So if this is in your block, it's important for you to write that down. So when we get to the screen, you'll know that information. And if you just keep scrolling down, you're just going to get more and more information on the classes that you need to take. And then any notes um, that was inputted in your degree works. So now we need to create a plan. So we can click on plans right here. And it's going to bring up a list. Now, this is our fake student account that we use. So you can see that they do have a lot of plans. We're going to click on Financial Aid SAP, which is the one I just made for this. And you can see that the degree is the AAS degree, and they're an undergraduate, and all this information the last time it was modified. So we can click that, and it's going to open up here. If you want to make a new plan, you just click New Plan, and then you can either select a template or a blank plan and then title it. So here we go. So I've already filled out this plan because I wanted you guys to see what a filled out plan would look like. So you start off with your first semester. So I put in spring 2023 and each semester after that. Now, if you choose to take a semester off, then as you can see, there are summers you can just change from fall 2023. And after spring 2023, start with spring 2024, if that's what you wish. But we have all the way up until spring 2025. So this is what a completed plan would look like, and you can see that there are classes here, and if you hover over it, it'll tell you what the class is, how many credit it is, and you can get more information, edit this requirement, delete the requirement, or reassign the requirement if you do that. If you go to the days up here, you can more information for the term, delete the term, or reassign the term. You can also view notes if there are any notes on the term. So we are going to actually start a new plan. So we're going to go back to plan list, new plan. We're going to do a blank plan. And we're going to start off again with spring 2023 and hit submit. And then our description is we can put SAP appeal. Hit save. 
So this is what a blank plan will look like. It's going to open up like this. As you can see on this left side, it's titled Still Needed. These are all the classes that are still needed for you to complete your degree based on your degree works requirements. You can collapse or expand the sidebar. You can also make this a full page view, which is helpful, especially after you get a couple semesters in there. So we're going to hit this add button right here. That way we can start adding classes on. Now, let's start with that math class that we saw. So we need, by the way, this is just showing you all the classes that are still needed. So you know that you need to fit these in your planner somewhere in order to finish your degree. But we're going to scroll down to math and we're going to pick math 1010 because we know we need that one and that's the one we want to take. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we'll see Math 1010 is there, and we can hit Add to Plan, and then it's going to take us back to our landing page for our plan, and we can see that Math 1010 is in there. Now we also need to take a Learning Support Math with that, so we're going to hit Add, but the Learning Support Math is not in your Still Needed list. In order to add that one, we need to go to Courses, Subjects, type in MA for Math, Click on that, and then we're going to scroll down, and we need 825 because that's what our Degree Works page told us. So we select that one, and it's a General Studies and Math Support for one credit. You can see that it's right here, and Add to Plan. Okay, so there we have our two math classes done. And if we open this up, we still that we need, see that we still need classes in Communication, Humanities and Fine Arts, Social Behavior, and then your major courses. So we're going to hit Add. And we're just going to go through the still needed list and we're going to take courses that we think we'd want to take in that semester that would fit together. So if we're already taking a math class, why don't we scroll down and we start with our um, concentration classes. So we're going to pick computer applications, INFS 1010, and then we could keep scrolling down and see what else we have. And maybe choose an elective. And we're going to hit add to plan. And now we have 10 credits in this one semester, but I want to make it a 12 credit semester. So I'm going to pick one more class to add in here. So I am going to pick, let's try introduction and networking. Add to plan. There we go. Now we need to add a new term. And since we went for spring 2023 and we don't want to do the summer, we are going to do, let's see. Yes, spring 2023. We're not going to do summer of 2023. So we need to add fall of 2023. And we're going to hit add. And our goal is to get four classes in this semester. So we get 12 credits. So we're going to just go ahead and start off with this English Comp 1 class. Um, why don't we pick beginning HTML, database concepts, and programming one. Or if we don't want to do that many of our core classes, we can choose, let's see, we need one class in one of these. So why don't we take American government? And we'll hit add to plan. And we have 12 credits. And we are going to add another term. So we did fall 2023. So we're going to select spring 2024. We'll hit add and we're going to add our classes again. So let's do one of our comm classes. We need to do one of these, either public speaking or fundamentals of communication. I would probably choose fundamentals of communication instead of public speaking for myself. And then we're going to scroll down and let's do intro to programming and logic, um, Linux operating systems, and statistics for data analytics. So we have one, two, three, four classes. We'll hit add to plan. We can see that they were 12 credits, so we're doing good. We can use these arrows to keep hitting next. And then we're gonna add another plan. So that was spring 2024. So we need to add term fall 2024 because we don't wanna do summer classes. And then we'll scroll over to that one and we'll hit add and we're gonna pick four more classes. So we're gonna do one of our humanities. So we'll just pick introduction to art. And then Let's see, Programming 1, Project Management 1. We'll save our capstone for our last semester. And Spreadsheets gives us four classes. We'll hit Add to Plan. And we're looking at, again, another 12 credits. So that is 
one, two, three, four semesters already. So we're going to add another term. So that was fall 2024. So we need spring 2025. Add. We're going to click next. And then we're going to add. And then we're going to pick one, two, three, four. So that does give us four classes. But we have one capstone class, but it's only one credit. So you can either choose to add it to this semester or take it a different semester, but I'm just going to add it to this semester. And so I'm going to click add to plan. Now we have an issue. So there's an availability issue for one or more of the classes. So CITC 2333 is not offered for this term and 2340 is not offered for this term. So would you like to save without resolving the errors? No, we would not because if we know that we can't take it this semester, then we need to choose it for a different semester. So we're going to click cancel and we're going to take off 2333 and 2340. So right there and right there, add to plan. And what we can do is I'm just going to drag introduction art to the semester and then one of these classes over to the semester. Oh, another error. So we're going to cancel that. It can't be moved over there. Try a different class. It moved. So now we're going to hit add and try and get those two classes in the semester before the semester we were trying to add them in the first time. There we go. 13, 12, 12, 12, 12, and 13 credits. Now you can choose if you want to take 15 credits each semester and maybe not take that last semester of courses. You can update these and move them over as you see fit. So let's see if we want to take math 1010 over here. Oops, but we have our learning support math, so we'll move it back and we decide we want INFS 1010 in this semester. So you can adjust it based on that. Now, you'll need to print this out to add it to your appeal. So you're going to hit create PDF and it's going to create PDF right here. And then you can control P. And there it is. You can print this or save it as a PDF and attach it to your appeal. Thanks, guys.